Capital City Club Trentetter Hawks in their Ites Gold and Green strip met FC Jenga in black and white for a less than straightforward final. Hawks were out of the blocks faster. On the counter, the ball made its way to Mackay Simmons and he knew what to do with it. 1-0 to Hawks after 15. Dada's boys had Jenga on the back foot and they had to scramble to keep from going further behind. Jenga's Elisha Nees had a smart attempt saved as they put some pressure on the other end. On the half-hour mark, Jaquan Phillip produced another wonder strike that simply speaks for itself, 2-0 to Trentsetter Hawks. Soon after, Jenga defender Jordan Bullen took matters into his own hands. Anything you could do, he could do better, and just like that, they were back within touching distance, heading into the second half. The match had swung by the time they came back out, and for a while it was all Jenga. They certainly had more of the energy and motivation, a lack of technique, however, let them down. Bullen wasn't lacking in that department, and when the corner came back out to him, he dispatched the equaliser with summer plum on the hour. That would be the last goal from open play. The teams would decide this one from the penalty spot. Fox began the shootout perfectly, as did Jinga. Then, Marcelo Philip, son of the national number one, showed that it runs in the family, keeping his eye on it to spoil Hawks' report card. His opposite number took pattern to keep the teams tied at one apiece. After that disruption, Hawks kept doing their job and Jinga matched them. In sudden death, it was for all, and Philip was again eagle eyed to deny Hawks in sudden death. Kamani Hazel calmly slotted the deciding penalty to hand Jinga the title. The win was wildly celebrated and just deserts for a thrilling comeback after an epic battle against a formidable foe. Jovan Novello, TTT Sport.